Welcome to Sports Physics. Everyone loves sports, but did you know physics also loves sports? Physics happens in every situation in sports. Let's take a look at three videos. Alex Rodriguez. Alex Rodriguez just did a deep home run against the rival Boston Red Sox. To find out how he hit the ball so far, we can look at Newton's second law. It says, force equals mass times acceleration. Alex Rodriguez swings as hard as he can, implying a force, and as fast as he can, implying acceleration, to make the ball travel so far. If he did not hit it so hard and so fast, maybe he would hit a little pop-up. But remember, when it comes to A-Rod, more than just physics might be at play. Could be a little chemistry, too. But that's for another class. Are you ready for some football? Tom Brady, a football genius. But did you also know that he's a projectile motion genius? Let's watch. Brady throws this projectile, or a football, into the end zone to his wide receiver. Touchdown. To get the ball to the receiver, he had to release it at a certain angle and throw the ball with the right amount of speed so it reached the end zone. Too hard and the ball's in the stands. Too soft and it's an interception. No touchdown. No worries though, Tom. If you miss, Giselle can just blame it on Gronk this time. And finally, we'll go to some hoops action. In this play, we will focus on the block by Kobe Bryant. Newton's first law of motion says, An object, like the basketball, tends to stay in motion, unless acted on by an unbalanced force. In this case, Kobe Bryant's right hand, which causes the ball to fall to the ground. Poor LeBron. Not only did he get blocked by Kobe, but he got blocked by Sir Isaac Newton's first law of motion. Not in Sir Isaac's house. Thank you, and join us next time when we examine the physics of cooking.